The first underwater tunnels were built in the late 19th century, and today, there are approximately 200 underwater tunnels distributed around the world. Although some are used to supply water and electricity, most are designed to accommodate road or rail connections. But how are these megastructures built? Join me to discover it. Planning large-scale engineering works, such as the construction of underwater tunnels, is a complex process that can take years or even decades. It requires meticulous preparation that includes thorough technical, environmental, economic, and social studies. Specifically in the case of underwater tunnels, additional challenges are faced such as seabed investigations, current and tidal analysis, and geological stability assessment all in order to ensure the safety and viability of the project. In addition, the construction of underwater tunnels involves massive financial investments with costs that can reach billions of dollars. This aspect adds additional pressure on investors, governments, and construction companies to ensure return on investment and minimize financial risks. The first step in the design and construction of submarine tunnels is a technical challenge that requires a precise determination of the depth and geological level suitable for drilling. Large drilling platforms on the waters where the work will be built are placed to drill and perform geophysical methods for the interpretation of the Earth's strata. And this is where the seismic reflection technique comes in, which is similar to an X-ray of the underwater floor. It is essential to visualize geological layers and detect possible irregularities such as ripples or faults. This method allows engineers to minimize risks during construction, which are innumerable, and thus ensure the long-term stability of the infrastructure. Subsequently, underwater surveying is carried out, which plays a critical role in the design and construction of underwater tunnels, as it influences key aspects of the project, such as the tunnel route, the selection of excavation methods, and the design of support structures, in addition, a detailed knowledge of underwater topography is essential for the safety and durability of the infrastructure. After the planning and preparation phase comes the crucial moment of excavation, an exciting milestone in the tunneling process. This vital step is carried out with the use of tunnel boring machines, meticulously designed devices for each specific project. They are generally engineering works that weigh thousands of tons and with wingspans of more than 200 meters. These powerful machines are comprised of a rotating head that can reach impressive diameters of up to 15 meters. This head is equipped with a variety of cutting tools, from cutting discs to crusher teeth, which tear apart the rock as the machine progresses. Through a continuous movement, the cutting tools crush the rock and eject it to the outside of the tunnel using conveyor belt systems. This process allows for steady advancement while keeping the work environment as clean and safe as possible. To start up this imposing tunnel boring machine, it is necessary to excavate a huge space below sea level from the starting point, deep enough to allow the introduction of the machinery and ensure that the excavation can be as horizontal as possible. Once the TBM, as these huge machines are called, begins to operate, it advances at an impressive pace, averaging between 10 and 30 meters per day in particularly favorable conditions. As the machine moves forward and the debris is removed, a complex system of hydraulic jacks integrated into the TBM is deployed to position the tunnel lining. In this process, huge concrete slabs, each the size and weight of several tons, are meticulously arranged one by one, like pieces of a giant puzzle. These slabs are composed of a specially designed mixture of reinforced concrete with elements such as granite, making them noticeably stronger than even materials used in the construction of nuclear facilities. The installation of this lining is essential to ensure the long-term stability and safety of the tunnel, protecting it from possible collapses and ensuring safe passage for traffic and infrastructure that may pass through it. As construction work moves deeper into underwater tunnels, reaching distances of several kilometers, environmental conditions become increasingly challenging. Humidity and temperature increase considerably, which makes it essential to implement an efficient ventilation system to guarantee the safety and well-being of the thousands of workers who work uninterruptedly 24 hours a day, alternating shifts according to the needs of the project. These engineering works represent an unprecedented challenge, 
where even a small mistake could have catastrophic consequences, such as the collapse of the tunnel under the pressure of trillions of metric tons of water. To mitigate these risks, rigorous safety measures are employed, including sophisticated laser sensors that constantly monitor the excavation path. These sensors incorporated into the tunnel boring machine, which guide the tunnel route to a depth of just over 20 meters from the seabed, ensuring that the TBM faithfully follows the planned design, avoiding any deviations that could compromise the structural integrity of the tunnel. In addition, advanced monitoring systems allow any anomaly to be detected in real time, giving engineers the ability to take immediate corrective action and prevent possible accidents or incidents during the construction process. Drilling a 10-kilometer tunnel with a TBM can be a lengthy process that can take approximately two years to complete. However, this time frame can vary significantly depending on factors such as the geology of the land, the complexity of the project, and environmental conditions. An outstanding example of modern engineering capability is the English Channel, where underwater tunnels almost 40 kilometers long have been built, representing one of the most impressive works of recent decades. The volume of material excavated during tunnel drilling can be staggering. For example, the 10 kilometers of crushed rock resulting from the excavation could be enough to create an island that houses up to 50 football stadiums. This surplus material is not wasted, but is used strategically for various purposes, such as backfilling and widening the shorelines of cities near the project. The efficient management of these resources is essential not only for the economic viability of the project, but also to mitigate its environmental impact. The drilling process culminates when the TBM finally breaks through the last layer of rock, emerging triumphant after years of hard work underground, operating tirelessly 24 hours a day. This moment marks a victory for workers, a milestone celebrated with joy and camaraderie. However, the end of the TBM work does not mean the end of the process. Despite its imposing presence and its weight of more than 11,000 kilograms, the tunnel boring machine must be meticulously disassembled into millions of pieces to be sold as scrap, a process that marks the closing of a chapter in the history of the tunnel. The impact of a TBM goes beyond its disassembly. After his departure, he leaves a tunnel that will be adapted to be used by the public. This involves adding roads or train tracks, connecting regions and facilitating the transportation of millions of people each year. The investment of billions of dollars in the construction of these tunnels not only represents an economic expense, but also an investment in the future and development of society. These engineering works are testament to human ingenuity and technological advancement, demonstrating humanity's ability to conquer challenging environments and transform them into functional and vital infrastructures. If you liked the video, like it and don't forget to subscribe. In the windows that you will see below, there are more videos that may catch your attention. Go ahead and watch one. Until next time.